Hi everyone and welcome, my name is Dora and this is my second update to Panda's eyeshadows. So I've been working on five different eyeshadows that have been randomized for my collection, more or less. I don't have an awful lot of time to film today, so let's just get straight into the update. The first shadow comes from my Revolution Pro Romance palette and it's called Obsess. And at my last update, I was at 10 uses. And I've used it a further seven times. And then today I have hit pan. So this is in my eye look today, all over my lid. I enjoyed this one. For reference, a fair, another shimmer in the same palette took me 10 uses. This is kind of hard panny. It's a very pretty duo chrome. But yeah, it took me seven more uses to hit pan in this. So 17 uses in total, and here's a swatch of this shadow. So I really enjoyed it. I would have really wanted to use this with my finger on top of another eye look, and that didn't really quite work out. I had to use a brush because of the hard pan situation. So I'm happy to put it away for now. This next palette here is the Revolution Forever Flawless Utopia palette. And there are two shades in here that I've been working on. So the first one that I wanna talk about is Fiction. And I wrote this in in my intro and I had two previous uses on it and I've used it an additional five times since my last update, making for a total of seven uses. And I'm trying to cover up the other shadow. So Fiction is this one here. There's a nice sort of, you know, disturbance starting to form. I'm very confident that I can hit pan in this quite soon. And I actually also paired it with Obsess as well um, a couple of times and I really like that together. Yeah, all right. Okay, so staying in, let's talk about the other shade in here next. That one is called Promise and I rolled it in at my last update. Promise had just one prior use on it because I had this entire palette as no pan left behind in another project before. And I've only used Promise three times since, often under Obsessed, that first one with a pan. And here is what Promise is looking like today. So that is three uses within this project, four uses on this shadow as a whole. That's a huge, huge dip for four uses, I would say. It's just very, very kick -uppy. I mean, the swatches, you know, we're not talking about that, but yeah. I really, really like this shade. So yeah, definitely want to continue to work on this as well. I do veto one shade each month, but it won't be either of these. My fourth shade comes from this 27 pan Creator Revolution Forever Limitless Nude Rain palette here, and it's called Glamour. I rolled in Glamour at my last update and I've now got four uses on Glamour. And here is what Glamour is looking like today. For all of those four uses, I have been using my finger to put it on top of an eye look. I'm trying to hit pan in a Natasha Denona shade in my Project Level Up project for level one. In case you're wondering, it's the shade Serenity and it's a bit more cool tone than this one, but I think this really nicely completes the look when I've got Serenity all over my lid and a darker shade on the outer corner. And then I just top that off with this one um, with my finger. So it's slow going. I think I'm gonna have to, you know, start to use a brush if I wanna hit pan in it anytime soon. But until I've hit pan in the Project Level Up palette, I'm gonna continue doing it like that. So here's a swatch of Glamour, and that was literally just one swipe. It goes on really buttery. I love the formula on this, and I'm really happy it's staying in this project. My fifth and final shade is called Release, and it comes from this XX Revolution Bare Luxe Palette. Release is a matte shade, and it's a dark brown matte shade. It's pretty, and I have used it six times since my last update, making for a total of eight uses. Here's a swatch of Release, yeah, I like it, I enjoy it. It's not, it doesn't give as much kick up as Promise does. And because I've gone in, things have changed in my pan, that palette, pan mouse palettes, I have gone in and frankened some new shades. There are five dark deepening out the outer corner shades in my pan mouse palettes. So I think I'm gonna veto this one out today and randomize a new shade in instead. I'll be randomizing from two palettes. So the first palette, Yay, okay, that's my BH Cosmetics Do Not Disturb palette, great. 
I've got one pan in there already. And the next one, all right, another BH Cosmetics palette, and it's the Dolce Cat Visions palette. That's a pretty monochromatic palette, but I haven't got any pans in that palette yet. So I think that might be quite exciting. Let me go and grab those palettes and then we'll randomize a shade from each of them. Okay, here is my Do Not Disturb palette. And here is what this palette is looking like. So I had pan in this in Palmer's Eyeshadows last year and then I had it in Deck of Panning to expand the pan. I'm quite proud of the, you know, the size of this pan here. But yeah, all these other shades are fair game. So I'm gonna be randomizing between the numbers one and eight. Eight. Oh, I am very happy actually. Okay, so it's this shade here called Don't Bother. And I know it's another dark shade, but it's so shimmery and pretty. And it's quite like burgundy-ish looking. Ooh, it sort of shifts to more purple as well. Oh, I really like it. I think it's just so unique in terms of, you know, other dark brown reddish shades that I've got in my collection or that I'm working on in my Pan That palette, Pan Those palettes. So yeah, ooh, and it's very powdery, which always helps. So yeah, super happy that this is rolling in. And here is my Dolce Cat Visions palette. I don't think I have used this since Pandos Eyeshadows when I still had a usage goal back in 2022. So I'm so happy this has come back in. I was always like secretly hoping it might be a project level up, but probably best that it isn't because it is so blue and teal leaning and there's not that much variety in terms of the shades. There is variety though in terms of depth and you know, all of that. There are three matte shades in here and the rest of them are shimmers. Okay, let's randomize between one and 10. Ooh, shade number six. Which one is it? Oh, okay. All right. So I randomized a matte. Okay, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's the shade Russell. It's a very pretty minty matte shade. There's also quite a bit of kick up. And here's a swatch of it, ooh, twisty. But yeah, I think I like that. Oh, I think I really like how Russell looks with Promise. I think that could be a really nice combo, actually. So here is my new color story. I might try and include like a, you know, a B-roll so you can actually see it. Um, this looks very awkward. But yeah, very happy with how this is looking. And then the two shades rolling out are Release, that one, and obsessed because I have hit pan. Very, very excited to work on these and to hopefully show you some pans next time. I think Promise is a contender. I think Fiction as well and maybe even Glamour too. So that could be a really, really nice update for next month. I have made it. I can now go and pick up my son from school and I don't have to run around. All good. I can relax now. And I hope that you're having a really nice and relaxing day as well. All night. And thank you so, so much for watching. Take care. Lots of love. Bye. Mwah.